So it looks like we've got to do a bit more, a few more repairs to the digger. Now we've just noticed that whenever you're swinging it around or you're moving the house around or slewing, occasionally we hear this noise coming out of the uh, swing gear here. Doesn't do it all the time, but we know something's not right. So we've given it a good wash off down in there as much as we can because they get pretty messy after a long time. So this whole assembly here we've got to pull out. Which means done doing those bolts down in there. So we lift that out and have a look in what what's happening in there. We're hoping it's just some bearings on the end of the on the end of the gear on under the motor here. It's only a matter of pulling these hoses, this one, move these ones out of the way. A couple of little hoses down there by looks for it. Underwing looks like 12 bolts. There and then lift it out. Hopefully nothing too major. We've just done the seals in in this part here, and the, for the which supplies all down to the track motors. Everything's been running really good on it, new tracks and all that sort of stuff. And now this pops up. That's what you get with the old equipment, I suppose. So we're just draining the uh, swing gear out now. Undo this tap here. Let it drip into the bucket here. Looks like I can get to some of the bolts in here though. Ready, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Make sure it's, make sure it's still on there. Yeah, it is. Go back one more notch. <clears throat> make sure it's on there. One, two, oh, hang on, just seal them, load him up, load him up a bit, one, two, three. So we've got all these bolts out. Hopefully it's not too tight in there.
neighbours let us borrow his uh, tillyhander bobcat better get up nice and high on the digger then and hook it on I think you've got pretty good control over this one so it's pretty handy There we go. Just go a little bit more. Yeah. It's moving, it's loose. Well. engine crane over here and put some blocks under there to get it to sit on here and not the gear then we'll start undoing these bolts around here lift the uh, hydraulic motor off it and see what's going on in here Now that one could go through, it could be, oh yeah, it's only a little one. I'll flip it upside down? Yeah, flip them over and you put them out. Take that out and put it over that side. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Grenade. Where's the pin going out of here? Oh, the rollers out of the bearing. Yeah. 
but the pin sheared off as it's gone. The pin's dropped down somehow. So it looks like we're in a bit of trouble with this one. We've got a bit of damage here. See what's happened is this pin that's in here is held in by a pin through there and a couple of them have sheared off which let this pin drop down which I think was just running was just scratching in the housing there on that there which hasn't hurt that really but it's let some of the needle rollers out which run around this pin inside these gears here and it's all just basically crunched it up got a bit of a crack in this housing too it hasn't done this one much good either All this carry is all good. This one sits right on top, so it's out of the way of all the carnage, but we still would have got a bit of dirty oil into it. I think we can give that one a clean and run that one again. So at the moment we're in the uh, research or, and looking for parts. Just been looking at some diagrams. Apparently these models, this must be the last of the Dash 6s. I think it, these swing boxes are very similar to a Dash 7. At least this gear's alright. That'd be a bit more involved if the uh, ring gear on the machine was damaged. So at the moment we've got to uh, get, get this shaft down this way so I've got to put in the press get that out because there's two bearings in here that we need to look at and probably replace and the seal down in there the hydraulic motor seems fine anyway these are the other pins that's the pin that holds it in. So, to be continued.